So most academics believe quite strongly that all the ancient pre-Columbian work done in the city of Cusco was created by the Inca people, including this somewhat megalithic wall made out of very hard basalt stone. The Inca only had bronze tools. This is Spanish construction you're looking at, transitioning into Inca, made of limestone. But the Inca work is not as superior as what you're looking here. Look at the precision of the joinery. This megalithic wall was made out of granite from a somewhat local quarry. But again, the granite is much harder than bronze chisels. This is Spanish construction, as you can see, quite sloppy. And this is the incredibly precise basalt work, I believe, and many others do now, that this work was done by a culture that had lost ancient high technology and existed long before the time of the Inca. What you're looking at here is the megalithic work rebuilt by the Inca. And here we are back with the pre-Inca work. Notice the incredible shiny surfaces in the horizontal joinery. It looks either like it was polished or possibly even intense heat was used in order to fit the stones. And here, in this other ancient wall, we see possible signs of catastrophic damage created by heat, possibly by an ancient cataclysm or even heat strike from the sun. And this wall tells the whole story. Notice the megalithic granite blocks on the right, and later Inca work on the left. And now we're inside of what is called the Cori Cancha, Again, a basalt construction, and look at the astonishing accuracy of the joinery. Again, could not have been done with bronze tools. It had to have been done utilizing some form, or forms even, of lost ancient high technology. This work would be very difficult to do today, including this tiny stone put in there. As we walk through the Cori Cancha again, we see astonishing accuracy. These walls average three feet thick, and there is no gap from the front all the way to the back. And this lintel, or this recess area, you can see is almost perfectly level. And here, in a side room of the Coricancha, we see different shapes that are not in their original places. And here, what has to be a machine drill hole. There's no other way this could have been done. Once again, just showing you the accuracy of the horizontal joinery. The vertical joinery, we see gaps, but that's because of a massive earthquake that happened probably in deep, deep antiquity. And now we are above Cusco at the ancient site called Sacsayhuaman. And Sacsayhuaman is more than 600 hectares inside, or 1,200 acres. Now what we're looking at here is not so much incredible accuracy, but just very strange, heavily eroded surfaces, again, that had to have been done with some kind of lost ancient high technology. The stone here is limestone, but it, it has been metamorphosed, so it's much harder than bronze. And why were these recesses even made in the first place? There appear to be more than 5,000 of them in the Cusco area. And the erosion 
indicates thousands upon thousands of years of age. As well, there are stories of tunnels in the Cusco area, ancient tunnels underground that go supposedly for miles upon miles. One theoretically goes from Tiwanaku in Bolivia to Cusco. But we're going to explore this little one. It could very well be natural in terms of formation, but it obviously appears due to the polished surfaces that someone, possibly the Inca, expanded the width and height of it in order to make it useful for ancient ceremonial purposes or possibly even for conducting water. So as we walk through this tunnel, which in some areas is pitch black, once again you see these polished surfaces, likely not simply from people's hands, maybe some kind of ancient technology, and then as we come through, we see an Inca wall on the left-hand side. And once we come out of the tunnel, again, there are many strange ancient cut and eroded stone surfaces. And what we're going to walk to is this giant outcrop of stone called the Chincana. And Chincana in the Inca language means tunnel. So there is a possibility, even probability, that there is a tunnel entrance nearby this stone which goes all the way to Cusco. Here we see eroded Inca stairs. And now we're looking down at the massive Chincana shape. The Inca would call this a huaca, which means sacred place. And again, there are many of them. And as we approach the Chincana, again, you see all of the eroded and carved surfaces in the metamorphosed limestone. Are they actual ceremonial staircases? There doesn't seem to be a true pattern with them. And this place, possibly one out of a thousand tourists will see. It's very close to the huge Sacsayhuaman wall, and yet most people, most visitors, don't even know it's there. That's why it's good to come with hidden Inca tours. So as we approach what is believed to be the front of the Chincana, again you see these very odd surfaces, almost as if the stone was molded in some way. And as we walk over to the left, we'll see that a massive piece of stone has broken off, and this has an internal staircase. There you can see the pattern of the stairs going down in the center of the screen, and then the internal staircase. There again the pattern of the internal staircase, and the erosion again of these surfaces make it very ancient. There are in fact two staircases, one is upside down. And here we have an Inca wall that is constructed, because at every ancient megalithic site we do see Inca presence as well. They revered these ancient places. There you see the broken off staircase on the right hand side, and then on the left hand side where it used to attach. And finally, exploring more of ancient Sacsayhuaman. The famous wall is about a quarter of a kilometer in the background. And here we have an area that could be Inca, but more likely it's much older because it was buried up until about 10,000, or sorry, about 10 years ago. So once again, this area is about a quarter kilometer from the famous huge megalithic wall. 
And now we're going to be looking at some more strange cut surfaces. And to see more, you'll have to see the next video, which will be coming up on my YouTube channel quite soon. Is this an upside down staircase? Was this giant block flipped over by a cataclysm? So these are related books of mine at Amazon.com for your consideration. Lost Ancient Technology of Peru and Bolivia, Volume 2. Lost Ancient Technology of Egypt, Volume 2. Beyond the Black Sea, the mystery of the Paracas people with elongated skulls, including all of the DNA results. Pumapunku and Tiwanaku, possibly the strangest ancient site on Earth. Lebanon, or Baalbek, Lebanon, megaliths of the gods, an incredible place to visit. There's much more to it than just this giant block and Lost Ancient Technology of Mexico. Yes, there are megalithic sites in Mexico.